Hi friends, here's a fun book that some of you have read at school, Fancy Nancy, Bonjour Butterfly, written by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by Robin Chris Glasser. So here's her friends, swinging. Don't you think butterflies are a Exquisite? Exquisite is even fancier than beautiful. It's a very fancy word and looks like they're planting a garden over here. Whenever my friend Brie and I see one, we say bonjour. That's French for hello. Do butterflies understand French, my dad asks? Maybe, I tell him. Are they having a picnic with dad and friends? And look at even her dolls having a picnic, too. Bree's birthday party is soon. Everything will look like butterflies, even the cake. Here's the invitation. I show her how to turn the bees into butterflies. On the invitations, you're so lucky your name begins with a bee, I tell her. So here it says, Breeze, Butterfly Birthday, Saturday at noon. Come as your favorite butterfly, RSVP. RSVP is short for Respondis e Vlasplet. That's French means, please reply. I don't know French, so that might not quite sound how it's supposed to. Here they are. Look at, what is she dressed as? A butterfly. Very fancy. I'm going as an azure butterfly. My wings are bright. What color are they? Blue. And what's that fancy word for shiny? Oh, yes, iridescent. Look at that. She's got feathers for her antennas. She's very fancy. Breeze party is this Saturday. I can't wait. Oh, no, cries my mom. I totally... Forgot. Look, even the dog is fancy. Then she says, I can't go. My grandparents' anniversary party is the same day. Well, how do you think Fancy Nancy is feeling? Pretty sad. Mom says, Bree's birthday is special, but ma being married for 50 years, that's exceptional. That's extraordinary. If my mother uses fancy... Words, it'll make me feel better, but she's wrong. Now she's talking to her friend Bree. Bree's fancy too with all the braids and flowers in her hair and barrettes. When I tell Bree I can't come, she is heartbroken. They're both feeling very sad. For the next two days, I scowl, I sulk, and storm around the house. Mad is way too plain for how I feel. Do not enter, it says. She is very upset. I am furious. So it looks like Grandma and Grandpa's party is far away because they're going on an airplane, right? And she's, she's riding on the suitcase. How is she feeling? You're right, sad. But even more sad, she says, I am furious, which is very upset. Oh, they're not on a plane. They're on a train. On the train, the only person I talk to is Maribel. We mainly speak in French. Who do you think Maribel is? Her doll. There, they're off the train, and Grandma and Grandpa are so excited to see them. I perk up a little at the station. My grandparents are thrilled to see me. I give big hugs. Grandpa says, I wouldn't be a party. It wouldn't be a party without our gl glamorous granddaughter. That made her happy. I must say, the City Squire Motel is quite elegant. That's a fancy word for fancy. I curtsied everyone. You see her curtsying? She seems like she's a little bit happier now. 
There is a candy machine in the hall. She likes that idea. And an automatic dispenser. So it looks like she has candy and some drinks. In the bathroom are little bottles of bath gel and shampoo and cream. Ooh la la. It's like being in a beauty spa. So there she's got her face mask on and her brother's swimming with his scuba stuff. They're having fun. At the party, I have so much fun, I forget to be furious. So she's not mad. She forgot to be mad. Grandpa teaches me the cha-cha, and she is dressed very fancy, with feathers in her hair and a flower on her arm. Waiters bring us tiny hot dogs on silver platters. Mmm, delicious, darling, I tell my sister. You must try one. And there's her little sister. I said brother before, but it's a sister. Later I whisper, I'm sorry to Mommy on the way I behaved. I am ecstatic, which is very happy to be here. It is really an extraordinary night. The next morning, my mother wakes up. Grandma says the zoo here has a butterfly garden. Do you want to go? What do you think? I think she does. Oi, oi, oi. French for yes, yes, yes. My grandparents meet us at the zoo. There are monarch butterflies on your tie, I tell Grandpa. Can you see his tie? My, you know a lot about butterflies, he said. Yes, I admit, I'm practically an expert. The butterfly garden is gorgeous. Gorgeous is also fancier than beautiful. I can't wait to tell Brie about it. Look at how pretty. Has anyone ever been to a butterfly garden? Sometimes they have them at the zoo or museums, the nature museum. Suddenly, a little blue butterfly flits towards me in a zoo butterfly. All butterflies are special, but this one is extraordinary. Remember, she was going to dress up as a blue butterfly, too? Bonjour, I say. She's saying hello to the butterfly. You know what? I am nearly positive butterflies understand French. And there she is, dressed up. So, Fancy Nancy first was sad that she couldn't go to the party, but then she still had fun at the grandparents' party. So, that's good that she had a good time. Bye for now.